and the often very numerous moons of the gas giants. But it's noticeable that the moons are mostly much smaller than their planets. The Earth's moon is also much smaller than the Earth, but measured by the size of its planet. It's the biggest and most unusual moon in the whole star system. It is quite similar with the dwarf planet. Strictly speaking, it's the least big and abstractive. Scientists' suspicions that planet moon constellations of these sizes are in fact the old theory says that the moon of the Earth was formed in the early times of the planet by the collision with a gigantic object. Essentially, this blasted the moon out of the Earth's own substance and this debris from the very young Earth, which condensed very slowly, developed into a moon. This theory is increasingly being discussed. The ESA original is the well? smart one to the moon. Everything's original on here. Every single part. Closely. This Except the for the paint and the stickers. And Everything the else has been refurbished. It's interesting in this connection that Earth and Moon share a common center of gravity. Around this, both orbit as a binary system, while the Moon orbits the Earth and bound to the Earth orbits the Sun. It's precisely this circumstance that the Moon circles the Sun as bound to the Earth that has excluded it from a planet classification so far. Moon dust can be deadly. That the Moon is dusty was discovered very early on by the first space travelers who ever set foot on the moon at the expenses of their own bodies. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin initially waited in a soft, powdery layer. The sulfur-scented dust later clung so intensely to the lunar pioneer's shoes.